Today we're here at the very buzzy Fiat stand where behind me we have the Fiat 124 Spider. Hate it, love it, everyone has an opinion about this car. It actually harkens back to 1966 when Fiat introduced the first Spider in Italy. Last summer we saw the introduction of the Mazda Miata. Today Fiat introduced the new Spider. So what are the specs on this car? Some have yet to be revealed, like we don't know 0 to 60, but we do know it has a 1.4 liter turbo engine, which will definitely give it the extra power it needs to move this small little car across the great American freeways. I'm happy to see cars that actually make me feel something. It's been a long time since we've seen a spider on the road, since 1985, but here we are 30 years later and we have a new spider convertible. A lot has changed in the world since then, but some things don't change, and that's the love of beautiful design. Or polarizing design, or ugly design, you be the judge. I'm just relieved that we have cars that make us feel something, small cars that are efficient, that create a sense of wanderlust, similar to what the Mazda Miata's done. Some people are Miata fans, some people tend to go Italiano, you be the judge. My vote goes for Team Fiat. I happen to like the architecture, and there's a certain form language in the body. It's like the squarish roundish effect that if you notice, if you look at the front of the, the hood, there's some presence there. But yet we see some soft angles too that kind of create a nice balance in the form language. We don't see this on every car today and I think that's important. Personally, I just can't wait for summer to come to drop the top.